Racing Gym Gymnasium. Finals day here at the Victor China Open. And our next final should be an intriguing one. It's the reigning world Olympic and European champion, Carolina Marin, trying to become the first European to win the women's singles here in Zhengzhou. She's up against Chen Wufei in her fourth final this year, but looking for her first title of 2018. Now, as far as the race to Guangzhou is concerned, Tai Su Ying will remain number one. Akane Yamaguchi will go up one place to number two. The number six at the moment, the finalist today, Carolina Marin. If she wins, she will go up three places to number three, but only one place to number five if she loses the final. If she loses the final and Chen Fei wins, then she will go ahead of Carolina Marin because she will go to number four on that list, but will remain behind Carolina Marin, only going up one place to number six if she loses today's final. Well, as far as the women's singles draw is concerned from the quarterfinal stage, well, we only had six seeds left. The big surprise was Tai Su Ying, the number one seed, losing in the first round to Gao Fang Ji. Top half of the draw, as you can see, there was only two seeds by quarterfinal stage. Three Chinese players, two Japanese players, and by a semi-final stage, there were still two Japanese players, but they both lost in the semi-finals yesterday. So it is the number six seed, Carolina Marin of Spain, up against the number five seed, Chen Wufei of China. Well, what a run this lady is having. The world title, her third world title, little over a month ago in Nanjing. And then last week won the Japan Open. So today her third final in three tournaments played. Chen Wufei, the number five seed, today is her fourth final of the year. But her three previous finals in Germany the Asia Championships and the Indonesia Super 1000. So this is just the second meeting between the two players. The first was last week in the semi-final stage. So yes, is in the first game, Carolina Marin was 6-8 down, promptly won nine straight points to go 15-8 up. Second game, a similar situation, it was 9 all. And then Carolina Marin raced away. So 21-12, 21-13 in Tokyo a week ago. And 39 minutes for the reigning world and Olympic champions victory. So I was very surprised last week in the semi-final stage when I discovered that was their first ever meeting. And now second meeting in two weeks. 20 years of age, born in Hangzhou, the capital of Xinjiang province. Down one place in the world ranking this week after 22 consecutive weeks as a number five, a career high. And she has been the full distance in the last two matches against the Olympic silver medalist Fusana Ben Carter Sinu in the quarterfinal, and then yesterday against the number two seed Akane Yamaguchi. So to the left hand up, the 25-year-old from Huelva in Spain. Spent 66 weeks in total as world number one. Went up one place after her victory in Tokyo a week ago to number five. And she, like her opponent, has twice been taken the full distance. But for her, it was in the second round against the left-hander Sayaka Takahashi. And then in the semi-final against the former world champion, Nozomi Okuhara. That semi-final yesterday was a repeat of the final a week ago in Tokyo. So the umpire 
Mai Lang Yen from Vietnam calls the players to get ready. His service judge is Eddie Rofianto of Indonesia. Well, I suspect this week, Steen, as we look at the Chinese coaches, that Chen Fei with home support, it might be a slightly different match to a week ago in Tokyo. Yeah, could be, could be um, the steam road last week, uh, in the uh, slow conditions, that was just what uh, Marin uh, wanted. Yeah, there's a bit more drift. Uh, I have Marin as the favourite. Um, I think she'll be a little bit tense there. Chen Fei as well. China. And on my left, Carolina Marin, Spain. but has to hold a little bit back. That's not one of her key competences, holding back. But, uh, yesterday was actually uh, quite good in terms of that. Oh, well taken. And a huge roar from the fans here in Changzhou. So that's one of the things that um, Chen Fei should rely on her uh, great reading ability, um, anticipating the game. And now they have more uh, valuable video because it's always more valuable to have video of the uh, your own player playing uh, the exact opponent that you're up against, except of uh, seeing Marine against other opponents. That's just not as valuable. <laughs> Now, Steen, I noticed before they started the warm-up period that the players changed ends. Did you notice who had won the toss? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm certain that uh, Marin would choose to start on uh, the far side um, so that she would be playing an eventual third game decisive rally. She would be playing from this near side of the court where she can uh, play more freely. Shot. 
Ball. made a kill. Two. Knows that it's difficult to uh, to lift when you're playing the far side of the court. this again oh yes that's a good spot by the umper took that before it had crossed over the net Took it. That's amazing. <laughs> I was very lucky for Marine. That was a terrible net shot. Definitely got to vary from that uh, backhand corner. Yeah. That's the follow-up that you were talking about, yeah. at both in the World Championships and last week. And it had been uh, absent for 18 months, more or less. Five. to play a different playing style and uh, I think it's actually um, a good thing to do it. So uh, the former Chinese world champion for men's singer Sun Jun, fantastic uh, patient playing style he had but he uh, went on the attack Nine. for half Five. a year or so in order to get better at um, Punishing loose opportunities and then got the right mix of playing style after that. So it's about the overall development yeah. as a player. Yeah. But Sometimes but have to have the courage to change. Exactly, but, but you can't really lose the, the player you are. You've got to stay through to being an aggressive player. Well, it's a six-point advantage for Chen Fei here at the mid-game interval. Come on with 
pegando al rey, Andes. ¿Eh? ¿Está pegando al rey? Sí, pero entonces tú puedes hacerlo cruzado y cuando llega arriba es donde tú puedes hacer la pinta y jugar atrás. Pero con mucho margen, con mucho margen. ¿Vale? Entonces tú tienes que bajar el volante y tú tienes que llegar arriba en red. Si llegas abajo es muy difícil. ¿Vale? Entonces tenemos que llegar arriba y tú tienes que luchar más para que pueda llegar arriba. Tienes que pensar más en los remates. No remate fuerte, baja el volante, baja el volante otra vez y otra vez. Con paciencia y disciplina, ¿eh? Vamos, ¿eh? Spanish words there, Sting. No, only the last one, disciplina. That's um she's playing the far side of the court, uh Corrida Marina, and of course um, you've got to be more careful with your shots. Can I just use normal power? Excellent shot. Challenge for the ring to play this side playing with the drift. We saw it um, before the Olympics in uh, the World Super Series, where she lost a couple of times to Okuhara. He's a power player, and um, like we said in the beginning, holding back is not one of her big forces. Way too short. Good rally from her. Gosh, the work rate she's putting in from that far exactly. side of the court. And, and that's where I feel that she might have a chance to um, play full court against front court, but that's basically what she's doing. But, but she's um, ahead in uh, power and speed, so uh, will be successful. said to wow. Carolina Murray and that coaching interval has worked. <laughs> taking her time, Jenny <laughs> Fay, because the run is most definitely with a left-hander. of the six points now since the mid-game interval. Too patient, uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Shot that um, she's brought today. Then I can understand the uh, patient approach. Mm. Of course, she's got to do better and uh, put some pressure on the win. Ah. 
this is amazing. It should have been a downward shot, so she would have prevented Marin from attacking. So Ginting so quick to get below the shuttle there, Marin. Of course, we saw Ginting in the first match today. So back level, 12 all. From five, 12 down. This was what we saw during uh, the Yuba Cup and also in the individual tournament of the uh, Asian Games that when she goes off boil, Chen Yifei, and the lower uh, level of the game is a little bit too low yet. Singles going shouting instructions. Yeah, and the problem has been, in my opinion, that all the points she got in the first part of this game, it wasn't her points, it wasn't points that she'd scored, it was points that Marin had um, made errors so that she got the error points. And um, now Marin has got. Her attack fine-tuned, and, and that means that um, suddenly you get the feeling that the person on the other side, if you're Chen Yufei, that uh, the person on the other side is uh, all over the court and uh, firing attacking shots all over the court, and that's basically also what's happening. So she's got to gear up. Thirteen points yeah. since the mid-game interval. Yeah. Oh, challenge! Yeah. I understand the challenge, but I think it's wide. challenge of this women's singles final. Caught on the line. Good challenge. Going wide. Oh, she's taking it again. Immediately turns to Anna Thompson. Yeah, he, can't, he can't see whether it was wide or not. No. The coach is there sitting in such an awkward position that um, they have no uh, feeling about that. Not with that, it was in or out. She had at the interval, uh, Chen Yufei. Definitely played way too passive. That was a good run in this one.
Something too loose on that net shot. Genuine fate. Yeah. Yeah, seeing as Thompson pleased with that. Three point advantage and three points away from this opening game. message to the umpire and her opponent not going off the court for a tell down two points away from the opening game is getting those situations with the high serve and how much power should she put into the smash. Sometimes it's too much, sometimes it's too little. Now it seems like she's getting it all right. Yeah, some four game point opportunities. Two remain for Marin. Simple opportunity for Chen Fei to put away the winner. And she hits it wide. So opening game to the world of Olympic champion Carolina Marin, 21-18.看一下，打你后场，你的速度一下慢下来了，知道吧？没有，不要想，不要想啊！这边自己大胆打打自己的节奏，他可能会压得很前，你必须要结合后场。好吧啊后场可以都跟跟他学软压下压喂我上完打连冠往前一定要抢起来顺风大胆攻没关系的好吧啊他就是一个抽嘛一个就打中间你就点低了一个球自然高了嘛哎一断还是下来他就他就没有
eso, la intensidad, claro. Seguimos igual, variación del saque, variación en tu ataque. Cuando hay los puntos largos, seguimos trabajando, seguimos trabajando. Él también está cansado. ¿Ok? ¿Dudas? Vamos, ¿eh? Mucha más movilidad ahora, ¿no? Sí, un poco, pero que no, no bajamos la, la velocidad. Eso es importantísimo. Vale, necesito intuiciones cortas y precisas, si no me puedes hablar. Vale. ¿Vale? vale. Vamos. match as an unexpected and very different match to the one in Tokyo but it was quite similar in the fact that Chen Fei got off to the better start and then Carolina Marin went storming in front. Little section of that opening game Carolina Marin was totally dominant 12 for 14 points. Channing Fay needs to keep her mental discipline here because two simple errors in the first two rallies. Yeah, and she, she's got to be ready to work hard as well. Um, Channing Fay, right now, I feel that when she gets the chance, she goes a little bit too sharp for uh, not the winners, but she, still selecting two sharp shots because Marin is um, moving fast on the other side and they put some psychological pressure on her. this last week, Steen, but for Chen Fei, today is her eighth career final, and of the previous seven finals she's contested, she's only won once. This obviously, as I said earlier, is her fourth final this year, previous three finals of 2018. Was runner-up in all three. Is it becoming a bit of a psychological problem, do you think? I don't think so. I think, yeah. <laughs> she, she's a really good player and she's potential for a lot more uh, Chen Fei. But, but as of now, there's a good chance that there's one in the tournament that is uh, better than she is. Because she still needs something on the, uh, the physical part, in my opinion. Yeah. And we've seen Tai Su Ying being really, really dominant when she's at her best. So. I think she's played her once, wasn't it? The uh, Indonesia Open uh, final. Um, yeah. And, and um, yeah, that's just where you say, okay, at that tournament, you competed for number two and, and she won it and the rest, but the time was the best. Yeah. She also lost to Tai Su at the Asia Championships. Yeah. Oh, oh. Perfection on the next shot from Chen Fei. It was better, but it shows how difficult it is to uh, to get the correct length on uh, on the shots. Service all. Five. The far side of. Uh, 
the court. It very well. Six, Kevin fight. Five. Well, it was actually quite short, you can see from the replay. Seems like the drift is quite severe. Good follow up again. Yeah, a much better uh, uh, attack movement Eight. than um, Six. some rallies before where it was full arm swing. Uh, it can be difficult to uh, have enough time to do that when you're playing this near side of the court where the shot shuttles um, arrive a little bit earlier on your side. Racket work quickly. Oh, her right foot slipped away from her there. I hope she's all right. Oh dear. That didn't look good. Hurt her hip, I think. Maybe the knee as well. She had some problems off the um, Olympics with the injury to her lower back, and that was part of um, the explanation of why we saw the dip in form. Yeah, the right leg just slipped away. Vamos, eh? Claro, el saque más profundo para que ella no pueda jugar. Traveling with Doug Honest Thompson in this tournament and also her uh, physio. It's uh, really important to get the right treatment. As ready as possible for the tournament. Well done. And in preparation for next week in Seoul. Is she going to Seoul? No. No.
dismissed. Great defence. Brilliant. <laughs> that is sensational from Chen Fei. One, two, three, four. Four incredible defensive shots. Amazing. The uh, men's singles yes. outside in the <laughs> players' lounge. They're both players had incredible defences as well. in the opening game has the advantage at the mid-game interval. This time only a two-point advantage. I remember she had a six-point advantage in the opening game and still couldn't convert. ¿Vale? Entonces, súper atenta ahí. ¿vale? Entonces, ahí puedo jugar cruzado en red, puedo jugar cerca en red. O si él está cerca, lo puedo hacer la finta de jugar atrás. Vale, pero entonces ponlo con más, más velocidad, claro, tú sabes controlar eso, tú sabes hacerlo. ¿Okay? Con convicción, que eso podemos hacer. Vale, vamos, claro, va. second game well, after the mid-game interval she uh, storms away but what's she got to do differently in the second half of this game to turn it around well, I think she's got to um, take distinct control over the front court and uh, stay close there and then be patient one extra shot from the back court it's like she wants it a little bit too much from the back court She's playing a little bit too short, Marin, because uh, she hasn't played one long yet. Yeah, that was definitely short. pushed it, so it's quite a bit of um, drift alongside the court. That means that she can push her flat shots or lift from the front court even more.
แทนทอตีDefense from Chen Lu Fei. No, one of the things that she could do here is to try and play the long um, recovery shot. Chen Lu Fei, she gets help from the drift there. If she does that, then a quick downward shot from Marin would be the solution, in my opinion, so that she still can uh, really close to the uh, net, keep really close to the front court, put pressure on. Uh, Chen Yufei from there. Ah! Uh, not a good enough downward shot from Chen Yufei from around the head position. This one here. In fact, it was hardly downwards. Oh, that's right, points. the attempted lift there from Chen and Fei. Five straight points to go into the lead. Concern about hip or knee, wasn't quite sure which. She's been moving very well since, so it obviously wasn't a, a major issue. Seven straight points now. And this must be of concern to the Chinese coaches that Chen Fei isn't able to maintain uh, her dominance. Yeah, yeah, it's not her that's conducting the match. It's, it's no. Marine, and when she sort of gets things fine-tuned, then then she's struggling. She's uh, 
lacking a bit of power, yet she's only 20, uh, Chen Yunfei. Uh, I think she has a bright future ahead of her. players eventually uh, Gong Chi Sao but um, she kept on adding a little bit and eventually <laughs> went on to win two Olympic gold medals so yeah uh, good point eight straight points now to Carolina Marin <laughs> straight points this is this is what I think is of concern for Steen. I, I know that Chen and Fei's got a bright future and she needs more physical strength, but losing nine points in yes, a row. She, has, she hasn't got a plan. No. 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 She did that last week as well in the semi final stage, didn't she? Lost nine straight points against her opponent of today. Yeah. So there's some. some um Attempts at playing uh, more attacking, playing a little bit with power, but of course she doesn't really know. Um, that's, that sounds harsh. That's not correct. But she, but she, she's she's not experienced in that um, mm. type of game. It's basically the same as if Marine was to play more or less without smash. That would also be awkward for her. Match point opportunities for a second title in two weeks for Carolina Marin. And the third title in three tournaments played. 11 straight points. Victor China Open to her list of achievements. Won the World Championships, her next tournament, the Japan Open last week, and here in Changzhou. Congratulated by her coach, Miles Thompson. in two weeks is uh, very impressive too. The physical effort needed to achieve that is considerable. 47 minutes in total for 21-18, 21-13. second half of both games she was simply far too good took the match to her opponent dictated the pace commanded the rallies and the victory to Carolina Marin 21 18 21 13 
So as we prepare for the prize presentation for the women's singles, I'm interested, Steve, do you think Carolina Marin is playing as well as uh, she was when she won the Olympic Games? Uh, it's difficult to say. You know, my initial thought is that she was a bit better at the Olympics, but um, she's still at a very high level here. She plays fast. She didn't have any Asian Games after the World Championship, so she had the time to go home and um, celebrate and prepare for these two tournaments. Uh, she's been really good in both Japan and uh, here in uh, Changzhou. A low level that she's experienced for quite some time. So mentally, also really, really uh, on top at the moment. Yeah. So we're just about ready for the prize presentation for the women's singles. So Carolina Marin creating history today. The first ever European player to win the women's singles title at the event that's been staged here in Changzhou since 2005. Chen Ufei, for a fourth time this year, has to settle for second best. But what a couple of weeks this lady has had. Carolina Marin champion a week ago in Tokyo, champion here once again in Changzhou. The winner, 70,000.
both smiling. The bigger smile, of course, for the champion, Carolina Marin. So our next final is the dream scenario. It's the world champions, Matsumoto and Nagahara, up against the Olympic champions, Matsutomo and Takahashi.